Hey, thanks for joining me. It's Jim. And today we're going to talk about how to add domains for your website or funnel inside of Go High Level. And in addition to that, I'm going to show you a quick trick to make sure that you don't get any HTTPS page not secure errors in Google Chrome or Bing or any of those search engines. So there's a quick thing that you have to do, and uh, it's super easy, and I'll show you what it is in just a second. Okay, so before we can add domains, the first thing you have to have is a site set up. Okay, all we have to do on that is basically go into either funnels or websites, right? And then create a website or funnel. Definitely the easiest thing to do is just go to the template library and pick something for your business and then customize it how you like, get it all ready. Okay. I've done that with a funnel here and I've got a couple of pages. And so this is ready to go. You can see it's not connected to a domain though yet. So it says, please add a domain in the settings to see your funnel live. Okay. So what that means is once I connect all this stuff up, then when people type in my domain, they'll be able to see this page. So that's the end goal. If everything works as it should, then that's what will happen. Okay. So we've got a site ready. That's the first thing we need. Then the next thing we do is just go down here to settings. Okay. And from the settings page, we just go to domains. And then this is where things are pretty easy. Okay. We just hit the big green add domain button. And then you're going to need to do this twice. The first thing you're going to do is enter in the domain name you want to add. Okay. So in my case, it was let's grow app.com. Okay. So I'll leave off the www at first. Okay. We're just going to do what's called the root domain. And so we do that. And with that domain, we use the IP address here. Okay. And for that, it says we need an A record. Now I use Cloudflare to manage my domain. You may use something else like GoDaddy or Namecheap or who, who knows what else, right? And so you just have to get logged into wherever it is your domain name is managed and then go to the place where you can update the DNS settings, the do domain name settings. All right. So DNS. That's the page I'm on here, okay? And all you have to do is just add a record. And in this case, it was an A record pointing to these series of numbers, right? And so I've already done that here, you can see. All you have to do when you're setting it up is just type the at key or the at character there. It says use app for roots. So that, that's what we wanna do. And then you just paste in that, that IP address that we had here. So we just copy that, paste it right in. And then if you happen to be using Cloudflare, uh, like I do, you just want to turn that off. Okay. So no big deal there. So once that's all set, then hit save. It's going to be maybe a little different looking in your back end of your domain management tool, but in the end, it's. Everyone uses the same types of record, A record, C name, stuff like that for the DNS. And this is just how you point those to a website. Okay. So save that. And then this is where I messed up the first time I tried connecting my go high level website with my domain is I didn't do this for the www. Like I thought that if you just did it for the root domain, then that was it, or maybe you would just add a www in here and then like point it to the main domain. Well, what will happen is you'll get a HTTP like not secure page error in the web browsers, which is a huge pain. And so like, it'll work fine if people just type in the direct domain, but if they type in www, then they get this error. I couldn't figure it out for a minute, but then essentially all you have to do is basically just add two domains in go high level. One is the root domain and the other one is the www. Okay. And when we add that www one, in that case, we're going to create a C name record. All right. So let's copy this 
Because in C name records, they don't take the numbers. They have to have a address. Okay, so and you can see that's what I've done in here is created a C name, right? So all I have to do when we're creating something like a C name record is just choose C name. It'll be the same in yours. And then in this case, for the name of that record, we're going to type in www, all right? Because that's the other way people find our website, right? And then we're just going to paste in that address that we copied from the other page. Okay. And once again, if you're using Cloudflare, just turn off that little button for the proxy status, hit save, and then you're all set. Okay. Now the domains are hooked up. So then our next piece is going to be to connect these. Okay. And so we have to do this with both domains. All right. So once they're set up, it'll, you'll, you'll see this page. It may even ask you as part of that a setup process, when you say, okay, on this page, like when you say add, it may take you to a pop-up that says, which funnel or website do you want to connect this domain to? If it doesn't, then all you have to do is just come to the domains page, hit the little pencil and then select your page. Okay. So in this case, I've just got the one site set up. I want this to go to the home page. So I'm just going to select the, the funnel in the page that I want and hit save. Okay. And then I'm just going to do that again on this other one. Okay. So they both just go to the same place. Boom. So now you're all set. You're not going to get any page errors or anything like that if you do it this way. And now we should be able to go. And this should connect us to our page, which it does. Cool. And see, in this case, I typed in www, but we can also not type in the www, and it'll take you to the same place. So there you go. Hope that helps you. And listen, if you're not already using Go High Level, man, the website builder in this is amazing, and I'm totally in love with it. So it's it's such a pleasure creating websites in this and and everything else that you can do as far as the emailing and the automations and texting and even text to pay invoices and stuff like that. It's really cool. So if you're thinking about go high level, I definitely recommend at least trying it out. They've got a 14 day trial. I've got a link below where you can go and take a look at it, see what you think. Having used ClickFunnels, System.io, WordPress, forever and built a lot of just HTML sites and stuff like that. This is my favorite yet because it combines so many of the tools I need together in one place. And not only that, it's like super fun to use. So hope this video helped. Please, if it did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber on the channel, and I'd love to have you. All right. Thanks for joining me.